This is Bate Higuera, one of the Bate capitals around La Romana, and yet still home to some of the most impoverished people on earth. This is where I met Malien, who graciously allowed me to interview her and changed my perspective on the poor people that live in these sugarcane villages. My name is Malien. I am 56 years old. I have eight children and three grandchildren. There are 13 of us that live in my house. That's when it hit me. The cameras never had the chance to go into the room with the beds, but it was simply two beds in two tiny rooms for 13 people. I was intrigued and couldn't wait to start asking questions. I was able to make breakfast this morning. That will be our only meal. And we are lucky to have that one meal. As for water, we walk miles to go to a public well. Haiti is better. It is better. But I stay here because there is nothing for me in Haiti. This answer shocked me. Many people think that the Dominican Republic is much better than Haiti, but Malien felt differently. I go to church with my babies. That everything is getting worse, and there is not much there. Yes, but it's very hard. Everything. It is so bad. Just everything. The most common question asked by Americans within our group was why are these impoverished people so happy? So I asked exactly that. Even though I have problems and everything's getting worse, I'm happy because I have Jesus. I have a chance. This interview really changed my perspective on the people who live in the Bates. Before, they were just more people in the world who unfortunately live in rough conditions. Now, I look into their eyes and remember their faces and know that those very people are sleeping on a dirt floor tonight or that little girl I saw won't eat today.